Is it an alien ship, a comet? Scientists and researchers are left puzzled. To unpack the mystery behind a 3-1 atlas, we talk to a physicist who is chasing the truth of this cosmic object. What if a rocket designed to launch satellites suddenly became linked to a cosmic visitor older than our sun? That's exactly what happened when viral claims erupted online. A Falcon 9 had intercepted something moving on the surface of 3i Atlas, an interstellar comet speeding through our solar system. This wasn't just another rock. Scientists estimate it's nearly 7 billion years old, carrying water, organic and secrets from beyond our star. In this video, we'll separate the myths from reality, what Falcon 9 really did, why 3i Atlas matters, and the bigger story humanity cannot afford to ignore. The Visitor Older Than the Sun when astronomers first spotted the faint glimmer of 3i Atlas in July 2025, they immediately knew it wasn't just another ordinary comet drifting through our solar system. Detected by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile, this icy wanderer's path didn't match anything seen before. Its orbit was hyperbolic, an unmistakable signature that it had come from interstellar space. Unlike comets bound to the sun's gravity, looping endlessly through predictable paths, 3i Atlas Atlas was just passing through. It was a visitor, not a resident, and that simple fact made it one of the rarest objects humanity has ever had the chance to observe. What makes it even more extraordinary is its age. Scientists estimate that 3i Atlas is roughly 7 billion years old, meaning it formed long before our sun ever ignited into a star. To put that in perspective, our solar system is only about 4.6 billion years old. This comet had been drifting through the galaxy for more than 2 billion years before our planet even existed. In a way, it is a time capsule from a completely different stellar environment, a frozen archive of chemistry that predates everything we know about our own origins. The speed of this cosmic messenger is mind-blowing. 3i Wash Atlas is zooming through space at an energizing speed of almost 61 kilometers per second relative to the Sun. At such a speed, it could circle Earth twice in less than half an hour. For a comet, this isn't just fast, it's hyperfast. A testament to the amount of gravitational sling shooting it endured in coming here. These kinds of objects just don't casually drift around. They're shot into the galactic void through some gravitational slaughter and thrown away from their home star systems to wander for eons until finally caught in our line of sight. It was a close call with fate. The comet came within 1.4 AU of the Sun's perihelion, that is, on October 30th, 2025, when it passed closest to the Sun, barely skimming inside the orbit of Mars. Such sightings from a cosmic perspective are of great value, as the comet barely grazed your front yard, close enough to study in great detail with the required instruments, which unfortunately weren't ready. The more ardent of scientists could almost feel the ache of opportunity loss we could have had if a suitable craft had been on standby, as 3i Atlas passed less than 0.2 AU of Mars, less than 19 million miles away. Getting to the comet was a Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini North Observatory joint effort. At that time, their observations were supporting their claim. A coma with a span of almost 26,400 kilometers had all the features of dazzling water ice, organic molecules, and silicon dust. In simple words, this was a bona fide comet that was volatile, active, and shedding bits of itself as sunlight warmed its primordial ice. But these were no ordinary ices. Having been born in some other star system, their making had been far removed from the natural conditions of the solar system. To study them would mean holding a bit of extraterrestrial chemistry in our hands. Imagine a messenger from another world arriving literally at the doorstep of your house, bringing with it secrets of a world that existed long before Earth came into being and helplessly watching it slip by. That was how astronomers felt about tracking 3i Atlas. Every spectrum, every image of light captured by our telescopes was a promise, but it reminded us as well of the limits to what we can accomplish by observing from afar. If it's older than the Sun, then what kind of chemistry is hidden inside this cosmic time capsule? The Falcon 9 Rumor Mill Not long after 3i Atlas was discovered, the internet lit up with an electrifying claim. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket 
had intercepted something moving on the comet's surface. Blogs, forums, and social media posts began circulating grainy images and wild theories. To many, it seemed like the perfect secret mission, SpaceX quietly sending a rocket not for satellites, but for the first ever contact with an interstellar object. The story spread so fast that casual readers might have thought it was a confirmed fact. But was there any truth to it? The reality is much less dramatic, but no less fascinating. Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse rocket, conducts the majority of launches for satellites these days. A Falcon 9 lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California on August 18, 2025, carrying 24 Starlink satellites into polar orbit a matter of weeks after 3I Atlas was first flagged. The timing was incredible. While astronomers all over the world were buzzing about the comet, the SpaceX launch was happening very much publicly. Before long, the two stories collided. People made the leap. Clearly, the rocket must have been secretly retasked to pursue the comet. In stark contrast, physics tells a different story. As of July 2025, 3I Atlas was approximately 4.5 astronomical units from the Sun, near Jupiter's orbit, and speeding outward at 61 km. This means a spacecraft starting from the Earth would require an initial velocity change of about 24 km, second or some 86,000 km hour, to say that is the least staggering of requirements. Comparatively, the Falcon 9 can reach speeds to put payloads into Earth orbit and with adapted upper stages, send probes toward the Moon or Mars. That is an altogether different ballgame when it comes to chasing down an object like 3I Atlas. Falcon 9 simply does not have the kick needed for such a chase. So why did the rumor continue? At least partly, it expresses a much deeper frustration. There is never enough time to prepare for the arrival of an interstellar visitor. With Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, which have now both surpassed the 3I Atlas label, none of them witnessed a single spacecraft sent to meet them. A little, perhaps. Everyone wished that, just maybe, someone acted, even if this was secretive. The Falcon 9 rumor was a wishful thought that we hadn't simply stood by as yet another cosmic messenger slipped through our reach. It is said to be true for Falcon 9's reputation, its badges. With the dawn of SpaceX, almost anyone who knows the rocket would assume the Falcon 9 could pretty much do anything, as if indeed it were a universal orbital vehicle, let alone a matter of distance, having already made frequent, reliable launches. The arrival of something very strange from another star system feels just natural for minds. They will likely associate it with that company at the triggering moment. The public most strongly identified with pushing the limits in spaceflight. If Falcon 9 didn't touch it, then why are scientists treating this comet like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Alien chemistry on our doorstep. If 3I Atlas were just another ball of ice and rock, it would still be fascinating for its speed and origin. But telescopes quickly showed this was something far more extraordinary. Hubble Space Telescope images revealed a wide, dusty coma surrounding the comet's nucleus, stretching nearly 26,400 kilometers across. That cloud wasn't just ice vapor. It carried water, silica dust, and organic molecules. In other words, the raw ingredients of life were flying past our solar system, packed into a frozen visitor that had been wandering the galaxy for billions of years. Think about what that means. These molecules didn't form around our sun. They didn't even form in our local stellar neighborhood. They were forged in a completely different environment, perhaps in the disk of a long-dead star system, or in a molecular cloud that collapsed long before our solar system was born. This makes 3I Atlas a chemical time traveler, a messenger carrying material from an ancient chapter of the galaxy's history. To study it up close would be like finding a library of alien chemistry written on ice. Spectrographic analysis confirmed what many scientists had anticipated. 3I Atlas wasn't inactive. The tail and coma suggested active outgassing, wherein one or more compounds were released as sunlight warmed cometary frozen layers. Some of these compounds belonged to the usual suspects, carbon dioxide, 
water vapor, and carbon monoxide. But mingled with those signals were suggestions of complex organics, those molecules constructed from carbon chains that serve as the backbone of biology. If amino acids or their chemical precursors do exist inside 3i Atlas, it would be the strongest evidence yet that the building blocks of life are casually strewn all over the galaxy. This locks into panspermia theory, whereby building blocks are not confined to just one world, but rather disperse from galaxy to galaxy on comets and asteroids. If comets like 3i Atlas can carry organics, then it may be that this and other such objects seeded the young Earth from far away, and in so doing, supplied it with the chemistry for life billions of years ago. Such a scenario begs the question, is life a local accident, or is it an inevitability on galactic timescales? But there was another twist. The instruments were calibrated with molecules in the solar system in mind, molecules that would behave in expected ways. What if 3i Atlas contains such oddly structured molecules that they come across as noise or error in our interpretations? Scientists think that is a real possibility. A totally alien arrangement of atoms could well be unrecognized by our present-day models. That is why a direct probe that could sample the material would be revolutionary. It could provide us with molecular architectures that challenge everything we think we know about chemistry. It was, of course, the tormenting paradox that the comet had come so very close to taunt us, but it was really too fast for us to come there much. The astronomers knew the event they were watching would become history, and yet, Every observation was valuable, while each observation remained incomplete. With the resources we have from Earth, we can see the glowing tail, analyze the reflected light, and detect faint chemical signatures. What we cannot do, however, is the most valuable, the exact structures, the full recipe of alien molecules, elusive and untouchable within the icy heart of the comet without an intercept mission. But if this is the recipe card of alien chemistry, why didn't we try to grab it? Why we weren't ready For scientists watching 3i Atlas streak through the solar system, the sense of wonder was mixed with frustration. Here was a pristine comet from another star system, 7 billion years old, carrying water, dust, and organic molecules unlike anything in our solar system. And yet all we could do was watch it slip away. Why weren't we ready to send something to meet it? The answer is a painful blend of physics, planning, and politics. This wasn't the first time we missed such a chance. In 2017, Oumuamua suddenly appeared in the sky, the first confirmed interstellar object. It shocked astronomers with its bizarre, elongated shape and mysterious acceleration. But by the time it was spotted, it was already leaving our solar system. No rocket could have possibly launched in time to chase it. Just two years later, in 2019, Borisov came barreling in, this time a true comet with a coma and tail. Once again, scientists scrambled to observe, but its incredible speed made any intercept mission impossible. Now, with 3i Atlas in 2025, we're facing the same frustration for the third time. The speed is ultimately the key factor. 3i Atlas moves nearly 61 kilometers relative to the Sun. To even attempt a flyby, a spacecraft from Earth would require an additional velocity change of about 24 kilometers, or roughly 86,000 kilometers per hour, over and above any speed achieved by a Falcon 9 or even a Falcon Heavy. Current rockets are designed for launching satellites, resupplying the station, or sending probes to the Moon and Mars. Intercepting an object moving this fast requires a whole new level of propulsion. The second reason would be the time. These bodies are known just a few months before they reach perihelion, when they might be closest to the Sun. And, in a flash, they depart into darkness. Designing, building, and launching a mission in such a time frame would be practically impossible. Spacecraft development could take anywhere from a number of years to even decades. And without something already on the shelf by then, we would have lost the opportunity long before we even commence. That's why agencies such as the European Space Agency and others are taking an exceptional way of doing things. Their planned launch of the Comet Interceptor won't send it toward a certain known target. Instead, from 2029, it will be parked at 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the Sun-Earth L2 point, waiting. At that moment, once a comet or interstellar object is discovered, it will be ready to go into action. 
The Comet Interceptor carries three probes designed to separate and fly through the target from multiple angles. It is a new approach, preparing early instead of waiting for discoveries. NASA and other agencies are considering similar concepts, an interceptor program that is permanently in a state of ready to launch. The idea is to build a spacecraft, keep it in reserve, and launch it only when the opportunity arises for a perfect target. Yes, this is expensive, but the potential rewards are revolutionary. A direct sample, or rather a close flyby of an interstellar visitor, could profoundly improve our understanding of planetary formation, chemistry, and possibly even the appearance of life. Interstellar visits, few as they may be, did not seem like a priority before. Watching them go by, three in less than a decade has changed the conversation. Now, astronomers think that these objects may be much more common than previously thought. So, in the story of 3i Atlas, we also have a story of missed opportunity. The technology existed to contemplate an intercept, but the preparation was not there to realize it. A stark lesson is left for humankind. Discovering is not enough. Without preparedness, the greatest treasures of the entire galaxy will pass us by, slipping just beyond our grasp. Each missed opportunity raises the same haunting question. What secrets slipped past us forever? The Legacy and the Next Visitor Every interstellar visitor leaves behind two legacies. One is scientific, the data, images, and chemical signatures we manage to capture as it races past. The other is emotional, the frustration, awe, and longing for what we might have learned if only we had been ready. With 3i Atlas, both legacies are deeply intertwined. Officially, astronomers have confirmed that 3i Atlas is a natural comet. It was first identified on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. Within hours, its hyperbolic trajectory marked it as something extraordinary, proof it came from beyond the solar system. Traveling between 58 and 61 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, its speed alone told us it would never return. The Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini North Observatory captured stunning images of its coma, showing a halo of dust and gas nearly 26 400 kilometers across. Spectroscopic analysis confirmed the presence of water ice, organic molecules, and silica dust. This was, beyond doubt, an interstellar comet, our third cosmic messenger in less than a decade. But, alas, there is the second part of its legacy, which is more difficult to accept, a missed opportunity. There has been much speculation over the Falcon 9, and the public has been incredibly excited about it, but not one spacecraft intercepted or otherwise interacted with 3i Atlas. NASA confirmed that this body posed absolutely no hazard to Earth, never coming closer than 1.6 astronomical units, but also admitted that no current mission would be able to reach it. So we had yet another celestial body slip through our grasp, following in the wake of Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Three messengers, three missed opportunities. Nevertheless, there is certainly some hope. Each of those missions has already been able to push the scientific community toward a new mindset, preparedness. The European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor, set for launch in 2029, provides the most concrete step forward at this time. Unlike the classical missions that are aimed at pre-selected bodies, the Comet Interceptor will be waiting for a prospective candidate in space, either a pristine comet from the solar system or some other interstellar vagabond. When that target appears, it will deploy three separate probes, each designed to traverse different regions of the object's coma and tail. If the target is an interstellar comet, it will be humanity's first close encounter with matter from another star. It has been suggested by scientists that a similar approach could also be adopted by NASA for consideration of a permanent, quick-response interceptor that could be launched on short notice. The plan is indeed bold. Construct a spacecraft, fuel and prepare it, and launch as soon as an interstellar visitor is identified. So far, enormous challenges financial, engineering, as well as political, could be overcome for what may end up being a historic success. Even a very small piece of any interstellar object would allow us to access chemistry older than the sun, perhaps even the very building blocks of life itself. So perhaps the legacy of 3i Atlas will be what it taught instead of what we learned from it. It revealed just how unprepared we really were 
at the same time capturing the hunger we have in reaching farther. It revealed that technology already exists to chase such visitors. Lack of commitment to action is the real problem. If this left you asking what secrets we might have missed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do you think we should build a permanent probe on standby, ready to launch when the next interstellar visitor appears? Share your thoughts below, and don't miss the next video on screen for more stories from the edge of science.